I've been doing my part for the women's rights movement. I've been catcalling men in the streets. Yes. Come on. Ladies, join me in this endeavor. I don't give compliments, though. Um, I give tips <laughs> on how you guys can do better. I'll just see a dude walking down the street. I'm like, hey, same as shorts, same as shorts, same as shorts. I don't see no ass. You been skipping leg day, son? What's up? Man bun, man bun, man bun. You'd be cuter if you did some crunches. I mean, it's true. Every time a dude tells me to smile, I tell him to suck it in. And every white man I see, I just say, moisturize your faces, that's all. I don't know why y'all don't do that. Walking around the streets looking like nobody loves you. A little dabble, do ya? I'm not good in roommate situations. I'm terrible at it. My recent roommate, she, um, she, she was cool. We got along because uh, we were never home. So you give her an inch, she took a mile. That was the problem with it. She was a dominatrix. That was one of her many jobs, uh, except she wasn't good at it. The way comedians get good at comedy, we do things called open mics. So she was like an open micer of dominatrixing. <laughs> Bitch ain't have no dungeon. <laughs> Zero clientele. She's advertising on Craigslist. Pretty sure it was illegal. Uh, so she asked me in her very seductive voice. She always spoke in a very seductive voice to me. I'm like, bitch, we're talking about splint utilities. Why are you giving me this bedroom voice? I'm not having sex with you. And she asked me, she, when she first started, she's like, Joyelle, is it okay if I bring the slaves over to the house? <laughs> Are you just gonna say slave to my African-American face like that? Are you kidding me right now? I'm shaking in the corner. I didn't know I needed a new trigger in Trump's America. Yeah. You calling them slaves? Call them anything else. That'll make me feel better. Call them sharecroppers, all right? <laughs> so the foot sharecropper came over and my real life, it was a foot slave. Foot slave came over, uh, this is a white guy who puts on a little maid's outfit and he cleans the house and rubs on her feet as a reward. And I put quotes around clean, cause he's a white dude, y'all ain't good at cleaning. It's not in your wheelhouse, stop it. I was in a motel in Oklahoma, a young white dude was the maid. I put do not disturb on the door. I don't know what you're up to, but you're not using your whiteness to your advantage. <laughs> so the foot slave came over, and, this, and it, you give her an inch, she takes them all. He's rubbing on her feet in our living room, right? Common space. I was home at the time, right? Minding my business, I was making some toaster strudel. I come out the room to check on my strudel status. I didn't have shoes on. So I'm walking past the foot slave while he's rubbing on her feet, but he's staring at mine as I walk across the floor. Never felt this violated in my life, you guys. He was staring at my feet like they were titties. I didn't like that at all. I started covering up my feet with my hands. I was like, hey buddy, eyes up here, all right? You missing out on all this good cleavage. I had to put on some work boots to finish my strudel. Why do you have on Timberlands in your house, Joyelle? Cause the foot slaves here, that's why. 